This video will cover the installation process of a Scotsman Brilliance Nugget Ice Machine, model SCN60. Once the install location has been identified, confirm that there is adequate clearance for the machine and access to a drain, electric, and potable water supply with shutoff valve. This model can be purchased with or without a drain pump. If the space where the ice machine will be installed has a floor drain, the gravity drain model will be sufficient. For installations where a floor drain is not available, a pump model should be used. The machine should be installed on its own 15 amp dedicated circuit with no other appliances or electrical devices connected to the outlet. A Phillips head screwdriver, two wrenches, scissors or snips, tube cutters, a measuring tape, and an empty bucket or large measuring cup will be needed for installation. A quarter inch OD water supply line and appropriate fittings will also be required. Stainless steel flux hose, copper tubing, or reinforced PVC tubing can be used. Installation of gravity drain models will also require 5 8 inch ID kink resistant tubing and a tube clamp for the drain line. This is not needed for pump models as they ship with a factory installed 10 foot 3 8 inch ID drain tube. Drain location and connection can vary on pump model installations, so don't forget any additional tools and materials that may be needed to make that connection. The machine has already been removed from the packaging and the protective film taken off the exterior panels. Remove all materials from inside the machine. This will include manuals, warranty information, and a hardware packet. Set aside. On the back of the ice machine, snip the zip tie and unfurl the power cord and drain tube included on pump models. Remove the hardware bag from the water inlet tube and set aside. Starting with the water supply, connect the water line to the supply and purge to remove any debris. Install the included compression fitting onto the copper water inlet tube. Route the water line from the supply to the water inlet tube on the top rear of the machine. Make the connection and tighten with wrenches. Next, remove the drain access panel on the left side of the machine. On pump models, the drain line is factory installed. Route the discharge end of the drain tube to the appropriate drain location and make the appropriate connections if needed. On gravity models installed with a floor drain, insert the drain tube through the back of the machine and connect to the barbed elbow, securing the connection with a hose clamp. Route the other end of the tube into the nearest floor drain making sure the entire length of tube is pitched towards the drain. If the installation location requires that utilities are routed through cabinetry, cutting a larger hole and installing an access panel is recommended for easy access to monitor for leaks and other service needs. Plug the machine into the outlet. Remember that the machine should have its own dedicated 15 amp circuit. Remove the top panel from the machine. Turn on the water supply and check for leaks as the reservoir fills. Check to make sure both the black drain plug and white drain tube inside the bin are fully seated and not leaking. Dump about two or three quarts of water into the bin and inspect for leaks as it drains. If the water does not drain fully, check that the external drain tubing is not kinked or restricted in any way. Reinstall the drain access panel to the left side of the machine. Install the included plastic leg caps to avoid damage to the flooring. Check to make sure the machine is level and adjust feet if necessary. All machines ship from the factory with hinges installed on the right side of the door, allowing it to swing open from the left. However, the door can be reversed if needed. A separate video explaining how to reverse the door is available. In some situations, it may be beneficial to limit how wide the door can swing open and avoid contact with adjacent cabinets. If this is the case, insert the included door stop pins into the top and bottom door hinges. Install the included plastic magnetic hinge covers over each of the two door hinges. Each of the hinges has an anchor point for securing the machine to the adjacent cabinet. If the machine will not be secured to adjacent cabinets, attach the adhesive side covers to each hinge. Carefully slide the machine into its permanent location, making sure to avoid kinking the water or drain lines. Reconfirm the unit is level, making adjustments as necessary. Turn the machine on by pushing the blue ice making button 
and do a final check for any leaks as the unit begins to make ice.